Good morning, YouTube. It's me, Empress E, and I'm back with another reading this morning. This reading is for the general collective. I had some weird dreams last night. And a costa. And songs just been coming to me too. Peace. I am a being of love and I release the all negative energy. So this is just bringing peace. Um, with the color of this card, it just makes me think of the throat and the crown chakra. As well as the third eye chakra. Speaking your truth, knowing what you know, knowing what you think, connecting with the divine to have your peace. Because Saturn went direct yesterday and Saturn brings harmony. And um, with this new moon in Libra that just happened on the 6th, that just bought a state of balance. And we got at the bottom of the deck, patience. I accept that everything happened in divine order. So this is just saying, be patient when it comes down to what it is you want and accept the situation right now for what it is in order for you to grow. You know, whatever it is you're trying to do, be disciplined to what you set your mind to and put your pride aside and forgive people and don't be guilty about cutting people off that you feel don't serve your high good and don't be in denial about your abundance real talk be honest with yourself about your purpose and see the humor and things and just try to ride this one out with love for the rest of the month real talk because this Mercury retrograde is going to bring, it, well, it has been bringing the ugliness out of people, but the top of this deck is I am attracting those people who serve my higher good. So just know that you're attracting the right relationships into your life. You just got to have gratitude for the ones that you got already. You know what I'm saying? Or just have gratitude in general for having good health. You know what I'm saying? And being able to do what you do because a lot of people can't. Continue to manifest and have gratitude why you manifest. And more will come in. Real talk. So have patience when it comes down to your peace because I know it's a lot going on around me, but I don't even let it affect me. Even like trying to come down with this cold and I don't even get sick. That's why I'm like, what is really going on? But I ain't even gonna talk about that. That's a whole nother one. But um I've been my shit, my energy has been like a roller coaster. <laughs> I wake up feeling good, be on oh, 10, you know what I'm saying? Happy, motivated, and then like a depression or anxiety or something come over me. And I had to sit with that for a minute and release it because I feel a lot of people energy to the point that I don't even want to go out sometimes. I don't. That shit is crazy. <sighs> yeah. So be patient when it comes down to... Accept that emotional office. Oh, I feel like be patient with yourself because the universe is offering you this cup. And you reflect it on past situations and you're not taking it. Your legs crossed, you're not talking. You know what I'm saying? You got your heart chakra blocked. But you ground it. You ground it because you're healing. This temperance card is out here to balance some things out. To heal the situation. You healing from somebody that was being deceptive. Wanting to win at all costs. And bound you to a toxic situation. This is a twin flame. 
that you rejected. So this person want to come in and interrupt your peace. So we got somebody here that haven't healed. Somebody here that's already in a relationship and want to link you to this relationship. But you didn't disengage from this. Because you focused on your peace. And you manifesting your victory and success. These cards is talking. Guard your heart. Guarding your heart and your finances, you know what I'm saying? And giving this cup of love and emotion to yourself. Because you're sitting in this emperor status. Because you got this enlightenment with this hangman. And you got people want to offer you cups as well. You got people want to come in and ask you out. Offer you some type of commitments. But I feel like right now the collective is pretty much focusing on themselves. But this is saying... Don't self-sabotage your healing. You know, you, you can have your peace by using discernment and just being patient and having gratitude toward what it is that you already have. Don't be all up in your head about this twin flame soulmate situation because it's coming. It's the been in every reading. Imprisonment. Somebody is imprisoned by their thoughts. And I was finna say, I hope somebody ain't about to go to prison because I've been pulling that jail card too. We got a family room here. Some being discussed in the family room amongst two women. A older and a younger woman. These two coming up with a plan on how to heal the situation. But these two, they feel defeated. And they trying to win at all costs, especially this older woman, this mature woman. This discussion going down in this family room is, is, is about bringing peace to a situation. This pathway. I feel like they trying to go toward this pathway toward healing in order to receive some type of unexpected income. Bottom of the deck, courtship. This sudden wealth fell over unexpected income. And then we got a courthouse and a journey. Hmm. So we got a masculine taking a journey toward a courtship to their official person. Somebody is in poverty. And somebody feel defeated. They trying to heal. This masculine could feel defeated. We got an occupation and adjudication and a mature man. That's concerned about a marriage and lovers. Okay. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, this person is concerned about this marriage. And this lover. It could have been some type of unexpected income. Okay. When I said I hope ain't nobody going to jail. This is what I'm getting from this right here. This man and this woman went into business together. It was an older lady involved with this. This older lady and this uh, mature woman. They having discussions. I mean, this younger lady and this mature woman, they having discussions about how to transform something, you know, how to revamp something. But this unexpected income from this business or whatever bought in this sudden well, which shook things up to the point where somebody had to go to court for a situation. or It's going to be a divorce. 
this main male is ready to journey on, you know, with his share, but he's still in it. He's still in this courtship. Somebody gonna send a message. Somebody from the community. Somebody gonna spit a spill of beans. I think this is what this conversation is about. Maybe they trying to serve this man with legal papers before he take this journey. Or this could be like a marriage before going on this journey. Maybe this lady trying to encourage this woman to marry this man before he take this journey. Or it's something with a court situation. Somebody could be running from. They bound by this situation. They all up in their head. They overthinking the situation. Trying to heal from this situation. Okay, somebody could have got a divorce. Trying to heal from a divorce. Because this heart chakra fell over this mature woman in this family room. So somebody could be having a heart-to-heart -heart discussion about like what really went down. Yeah, we got a journey. Again, I feel like twin flame male journey. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm seeing, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it. Okay, we got this four wands. We got this journey and car from the Kipper deck with the mail on it. Then we got this journey and car. Oh. From um, the energy oracle deck with this female on it. And these two face in the same direction. I feel like they journeying toward one another toward healing. Or these two could be getting ready to take a journey together. And I see bags. A lot of bags. So they could be moving together. We got this first chakra to be grounded and stable. Y'all, somebody didn't heal and walked away toward the door toward spirit on their temple path. Somebody heart chakra to open. They remained and grounded from having all these possibilities because they bought storms into their life. This person is trying to hide a self-confidence to take action toward this family dynamic because this is their wish fulfillment. This person want to take action toward being balanced. They want to balance some things out with this throat chakra and have a victory. This is a man holding the coin. He won victory. And he manifesting this. He manifested with the moon, but he all tied up to a situation. Uh, he want this third part. He want this person. Okay, there's a third party person that he's leaving his wife for. And he's trying to hold this person down until he get there. Oh my God. Because he want happiness. He want to rest and rejuvenate. He want this person to be attached to him. That's why he feeling hostile. So yeah. We do got somebody that want to win at all costs. This is some weird shit. So we got somebody trying to end a situation. Want to come in to another situation that was a part of a third party situation. Get remarried, have a family, and share this sudden wealth with this other person. But yet you got the person that they leaving discussing a strategy. Yeah, this person is stepping through this door to spirit on their temple path. 
or this is you collector you see the full spectrum of, of things that's why you walked away and took your journey and this person took their journey as well it's a lot of peace because y'all not talking but that awakened awareness is there third eye is open somebody see they see the full spectrum of things they see you stepping through they see you as a portal keeper Radiant illumination. This is the solar plexus chakra that deals with self determination, um, creation, um, your self esteem, your willpower. And we got the crown chakra, unlimited self, and the realm bridger. So after that portal keeping, we got realm bridger and we got um, this crown chakra. And with this realm bridger, it's like. You stepping through on the motherfuckers toward what it is that you want. Because you can see the full spectrum of things and you balance. You leaving dead shit where it's at and you, you focusing on connecting with the divine. You focusing on being grounded, you know, so that you can take flight with this root chakra. You didn't awaken somebody awareness, you know, to this. And this eye is red. So I feel like somebody is angry than a motherfucker and they watching. They watching you be balanced. They watching you step through. They watching you get, you know, you finna come into some sudden wealth and unexpected income. But you also got somebody journeying towards you as well, a twin flame. You're a portal keeper. Which means you're very intuitive. You can connect to other realms. You fucking got that um, world blood flow through your veins. And then all these stars coming around this Egyptian cat. Come on. And this look like an evil eye. So because you got you a portal keeper, people sending you the evil eye, and this is coming behind this eye. Like you got people that's on on attack, on alert, watching you as you watch, as you look forward. But you very much so protected by your ancestral um lineage. And this is Egyptian lineage. You bridging these realms. You connected to the uh, you connected to the unknown, which is bigger than this world and this little old world. And you you starting to grow. You starting to know how to manifest what it is that you want into this physical realm. You know what I'm saying? You learning how to transmute energy. You learning how to put them vibrations out there to get what you need. But this is just saying, you know. Continue to be that visionary. Continue to work on your dreams. Continue to see into the future. You know what I'm saying? Because you can see into the future. And you see your future. And you're working on it. And it's transforming with these butterflies. But be mindful of what you put out there with that real bridge. Because what you put out comes back to you. That's why you got the trust in the divine. Trust in the... Um, ethos trust in god trust in your spirit trust in your ancestors you know that they're gonna have your back with this crown chakra and know that you connected you know what i'm saying in order to have access to the unlimited self i love this and nurture nature so get out in nature but I feel like you doing that getting out in nature because I see her getting grounded. And these plants is just coming up. You got a baby mother, baby father. First two cards popped out that don't want to appear less dominant. I'm going to take that. 
So we got somebody here that don't want to feel less dominant. This could be the baby baby mama, uh, baby father. That's in this love triangle. Yeah, like I said, it's three people. Open relationship. We got a Pisces. So Pisces, either somebody trying to include you guys in an open relationship or they in an open relationship and you got a jealous co-worker. That ain't nothing new. <laughs> I'm not ready to settle down. I want to be single. So you got somebody want to be single in an open relationship. They coming in very soon. This person, they cutthroat and they got some stingy energy and they motherfucking paranoid because they do a lot of shiesty shit. This person is extra or whoever they dealing with is extra. So this is just saying, don't dim the fit in because these motherfuckers is fraudulent. What you see ain't really what you see. You know what I'm saying? Somebody a bomb ass nigga. They for the streets. Leave this motherfucker in the streets where he at and know your fucking worth. Real talk. These cars is talking. The peasantry. <laughs> okay. Somebody a little gremlin motherfucker. So somebody else a bullshit. Real talk. Give me one last chance to make it right. So yeah, somebody gonna come in one one last chance to make it right. This is saying trust God. We got an end as an initial. I'm hearing Nick, Nancy, Nathan, Nate. Give it time. Take a break already. Fo, fo, fo. Like I say, protection, grounding yourself as you manifest. You protect it. Somebody is sticking around from clout for clout, and that's the ugly truth. What? <laughs> and this little gremlin smoke too much. <laughs> And they headed for destruction, okay? Somebody got eczema. And somebody eczema could be acting up. And somebody salty as fuck because they got a baby. What? How you gonna be salty for a baby? Babies are blessings. They drink too much. Oh, wait. This person is un ungrateful and unregretful. This person is unregretful and unfaithful. So they not they don't regret being unfaithful at all. But they regret hurting you. Yeah. Cause they didn't got with a gold digger. <laughs> and it was a car accident. And this person realized they truly love you. We got an 18-year-old dealing with a fake bitch. Okay, and this minor could be indecisive. We got that R card again. And we got somebody sneaking around on their partner and with a coke head. This person is creating blocks because they're a master manipulator and they codependent. So protect you protected by your ancestors though. Watch your energy. We got a dark skinned person that's stressed out about bills. Could be a Taurus or dealing with a Taurus, somebody 37. And this is just saying, check yourself, check your energy. Could be involved in an entanglement. With somebody who named Star with a K, but this person is addicted to porn. So watch out for the red flag. Somebody 55. Somebody in love. I think I'm in love again. I want to see what's on the bottom of this. Tarot card reader. He or she jaded. Power and abundance.
Thank you very much. Oh, shit. Somebody want a baby. And somebody is an energy vampire. Ooh, pull this out. New job. Somebody got a new job on the horizon. I've been seeing this card a lot. And I've been seeing that raise in pay. So somebody about to either transition a job, get a whole nother job doing something totally different. Do what makes you happy. Or they could just be doing what make them happy because they got played. All right, y'all. I'm going to leave this right here. If you like the message, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Empress E on this early, early Tuesday morning. Um, stay blessed. Have a good one. And enjoy the rest of your day.